What's up YouTube, this is JP Panther, back video. And today's video is actually uh, a DC, uh, well, it's, it's gonna be a box office um, weekend update. Again, I will link the article in the description box down below so you guys can talk, so you can uh, read the article and stuff like that. Yeah, I've been very busy, so I, that's why I haven't been uploading vi uh, videos like consistently like I used to, so just to let you guys know. Uh, but I do definitely wanna talk about this, and I might even do this on a separate video about DC as a whole, even Marvel as a whole. I haven't really been going more in depth with it. Cause I know a bunch, a lot of YouTubers have been talking about how bad Marvel and DC is, especially with the movies and TV shows, whatever it is. But I might make a whole nother separate video about it. But pretty much, Warner Brothers DC superhero movie Blue Beetle faces the lowest ever opening for a DC uh, movie in the DCEU. I'm like, that's crazy. He only made 25 million and 18 million domestic. See that internationally? That's terrible, right? And they go on about like you know Shazam beat it and Wonder Woman's higher and all these other things and. It, it, it just shows you that, you know, James Gunn being a dumbass, I don't care what anyone says, like, y'all be like, oh, James Gunn, this is just James Gunn. Say what was Zack Snyder, but at least Zack Snyder had a plan, at least had a direction of where you want to go, right? James Gunn, to me, I think he's one of the worst businessmen you've ever seen, right? Because why would you go out and if, if you're supposed to do a new universe or whatever they're trying to do, I mean, let me know in the comment section below because, you know, about what James Gunn's really true plan is. Because the only thing I've heard personally was that, He's doing Superman Legacy and stuff like that. But for you could to come out like a dumbass and say, oh, all these upcoming four DC movies are completely irrelevant and they don't matter to my universe. That just kills any momentum of why would people waste their money to go see this, you know, like all these movies, right? And I already know about Aquaman, or how bad it is and stuff like that. Again, it's gonna be a whole, that'll be a whole other video talking about it. But Blue Beetle's box office, it just shows you that it's, it's a huge factor into it. You know, it's number one. I said before, anime, manga, video games, kicking their ass, you know, now independent content creators are coming out, you know, and you're having, I think independent filmmakers might do better than these DC Marvel movies in terms of net game profit. And I just think part of it is I think uh, the fan base, you know, have been very disrespected. The hardcore comic book fans like us, we've been very disrespected. Again, I've seen clips of Blue Beetle online. I heard people are very mixed with it. Again... I haven't seen the movie, but what I've seen and heard and seen a bunch of reviews, like half a Latino community are divided like it, half of them hate it, people like it, some people don't like it. It's just so with Blue Beetle, it's a very mixed bag with people, right? And I just think with the box office, it just shows you that you can't say it's superhero fatigue. I just think it's bad movie movies in general, bad movie fatigue in general, right? Because Secret Invasion when I heard it was really bad too. And you know, I saw the flash. It was terrible. I didn't even want to reveal it. That's why. That's how bad it was, right? Um, Shazam was really stupid. Um, was not surprised that it flopped. And Aquaman really knows going to flop. But Blue Beetle. I mean, I just think part of it is that when you keep having like how many bad DC movies that came out. Like, if we be objective with DC, right? They've had like seven flops that I could remember. It was 1984, Birds of Prey. Um, Birds of Prey, The Suicide Squad, Black Adam, Shazam, The Flash, and uh, Blue Beetle now, and Aquaman too, right? So that's what I've been, re at least I remember for the past couple of years of how many movies flopped from DC, right? So with Blue Beetle, it's just like, it just shows you that the times, a lot of people don't know this character. I've, I've read Blue Beetle. I like him. I think he's pretty dope. Jamie Reyes, I like him, right? But I think the problem is, is that this show, this movie was supposed to be an HBO Max movie, streaming movie, instead of a theatrical release. And I guess they're just like, you know what, they feel comfortable, things like that. And the problem with Blue Beetle is that it costs like what, $120 million. And he said at least make a three or four hundred million to even make a profit. And $43 million worldwide, that didn't have, you know, that's not eat you know, that's not good either. And then also another thing as well people ain't talking about is that the director came out with the whole Batman's a fascist thing. And, you know, I saw about, you know, he dropped the, he did the Obama, dropped the mic and said, I pissed off the fans. I did my job. And, you know, it's, I don't know, man. It's just like, you know, and I like the dude from Cobra, Cobra Kai, the main, uh, 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 the main actor who plays Boobito, right? I seen him in Cobra, Cobra Kai. I think he's pretty dope. Uh, but... 
I just think he got put in a really bad situation. That's just what I think it is, right? And um, the box office shows, right? And honestly, I'm not going to say, to me, I feel like the problem with Marvel and DC, in my personal opinion, and again, it's more, I know it's more of an opinion video more than a box office video, but like, just look how bad it is, man. It's like, oh, well, it beat, Bar it beat Barbie. I mean, Barbie's been out, what, five weeks or six weeks? And kids are back to school, so... It makes sense. And also, Barbie made a billion dollars. I didn't talk about that. I mean, really. So, you have two Warner Brothers studios beating the other one. Like, you know, that's why I didn't even really do a view on. I didn't even really talk about Barbie because, you know, so many people talked about it. There's no purpose of me talking about it. But I feel like with this Blue Beetle thing, I had to talk about it because, you know, I like Blue Beetle. And I just think... Um, you know, Marvel, DC, they keep putting out bad, Warner Brothers, Disney, they keep putting out bad superhero movies, and the fatigue, people saying it's for superhero fatigue, no, I just think it's bad superhero movies that reflect on these box office losses, right? And also, I think, as well, is that the general audience and normies, they're, they're, you can't rely on the general audience and normies, right? They only go what's popular. And right now, I'm telling you guys right now, anime and manga, it's killing it right now, right? You go to your Barnes & Noble, your Target, your Walmart, your even your comic book stores. I personally seen more manga being sold than DC and Marvel comic book floppies. You feel me? I'm just telling you what it is. These are at comic book stores, right? So that's an issue, right? So people are moving their money elsewhere. Especially the times are in and stuff like that. And I think part of it is just like this, these studios, they don't know how to revolutionize the superhero genre. I think they're just like, let's do the cookie cutter Marvel DC formula and hope that it works and makes a bunch of money. And I just think people are getting tired of that. You feel me? I think people, you could throw out a $200, $300 million movie budget and superhero budget, budget and people just don't care. They're just like, we've seen this already. And what I've been hearing about Blue Beetle, it's literally the same thing. Like, it's like a movie that came out in, like, 2006. I'm like, all right, wow, okay. So, the box office, it sucks. It is what it is. Um, you know, there's really, I mean, this is the main topic of the box office, you know, in general. And it's just like, you know, and I think it's going to drop, like, 70, 70, 80% to next week at least. And also, you know, with Blue Beetle, you got to realize that a lot of people don't know who Blue Beetle is, right? I play, you know, unless you played him in Injustice or watch Young Justice or you, you play him in a video game in Young Injustice or watch Young Justice, most general audiences don't even know who Blue Beetle is. Like my father, he is a combo guy. I said, yo, you heard about Blue Beetle? Like, what's Blue Beetle? I never heard of that. So that's the issue, right? So you have to sell a character that people don't really know about. And the problem is when people look at the trailer, he looks like a Latino Iron Man who acts like Spider-Man. That's just what people perceive it, right? And I just think right now, you know, there's so many other forms of entertainment, it's hard to just tell people to go to the movie. Because let's be honest, right? As much as I love the movies, it's a lot to go to the movie. You got to pay, you know, pay a lot of money. You know, you got to drive. You got to deal with traffic. Then you get your ticket. Then you get your popcorn. Then people talking in movie theaters. Then people on their phones. Then they're doing the TikTok thing. And it just pisses you off. And you come out when you watch a bad movie. Add all that crap together. Very expensive. And you just walk out, right? So I think a lot of people are just very, very picky in terms... If they're going to see a superhero movie, they're going to be very nitpicky, right? With it, right? So I know this video is going longer than what it is. But I feel like there's a lot more to just this regular... I can't just talk about like a regular box office videos. Because there's multiple factors that fact into Blue Beetle DC's uh, failure, right? And it sucks. But again, I think James Gunn is really stupid. I think Zayv Zazlaw is really stupid too. And I think as a fan, you know, as a real DC comic book fan... It's harder for me to go spend my money and time in the movie theater and energy when I know it's going to be complete garbage. Let's be honest. Like Aquaman 2, it's going to be straight up trash. Especially Amber Heard's in a movie, it's going to be a wrap. So honestly, you know, you might as well wait till Superman Legacy. And honestly, and this is maybe controversial, I don't care because this is my channel. I get to say whatever, several, say whatever I want. I think Superman Legacy is going to flop. I just personally think so. I think the branding of DC is so bad that, come on, man, like even now, Har uh, Joker and Harley Quinn is doing an isekai anime. That is terrible. Like, that's how you know your thing is trash. In the Superman, what, My Adventures with Superman, 
interview with Superman, the cartoon with the anime type style, is making more money and doing more numbers on HBO Max than these big budget live action DC movies. And then another thing is why I never, I didn't really get to talk about was the strike. So now you're gonna have a whole what two to three years until Superman Legacy comes out. So yeah, like yeah, DC is gonna be kind of hurt. So. That's pretty much it with the box office. Uh, I might do a whole nother video about the DC and Marvel and superhero fatigue and all this other stuff, whatever. But the box office, it sucks. It is what it is. Um, I just heard a lot of mixed people were reviewing with it, you know, reviewing, uh, reviewing the movie. And I, I just don't know what to say. You know, Blue Beetle's a flop. It's just what it is. And it sucks. And I hope that the movie would do well but hey it's corporate america it's it's hollywood it's studios you know once you got it once you got a geek nerd franchise like dc marvel star wars and star trek and star wars it's hard for fans and hard for them to really fight back against you know the creative process in terms of hollywood and stuff like that so again that's pretty much it let me know in the comment section below make sure you rate and like the video and subscribe make sure you subscribe to the channel peace have a great day and take care